She needs to back up. She's too close to the camera. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Casey. Welcome to this video, welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. This is actually my first beauty video and when I decided to make a YouTube channel, I thought that I would be doing a lot of beauty videos, beauty videos, but um, it became more of a vlog channel, but I've always really wanted to do beauty videos and I have a really exciting one for you. So today, we are going to be reviewing all of these, all of these. So these are the Egg Bee Cosmetics, oh, that one has a sticker over the front. The Egg Bee Cosmetics um, Magnetic Mink Liners. Um, they come in a compact that looks like this. Um, there are two different types of compacts and 10 different versions of the eyelashes. I have nine of them. I'm only missing one. Um, Lizzie was out of stock when I ordered and um, it is still out of stock. So I do have everything else. If you wanna see what they look like on and how I feel about them, keep watching. I forgot to mention, I also um, got the Egg Bee Magnetic Liner, so I will give my review on that as well. And whether I think the Anchors or the Magnetic Liner is better, if I think you should get the Magnetic Liner, what's better for you. So these products, um, I was interested in them. I saw them on Amazon and I went to their Instagram page and I noticed that they didn't have a lot of pictures. So I messaged the owner and asked for some pictures of the um, Magnetic Lashes because I didn't think that um, the pictures online were really helpful. Um, and she sent me a coupon code, which actually allowed me to purchase all of them um, so that you guys could get the full effect. So if we look at the box, the box looks like this. You can see on the front, the compact. Mine is a little beat up because since I've had it, I've actually um, been taking the whole thing instead of just the compact with me when I like throw it in my bag. Um, and that's because once you look at it, if you open these up, these are beautiful. Like you can take them by yourself, but the problem is they don't have a name on them. So I like to keep them in the box so I know which style I have. On the back of the box, they have all these little um, pictures of the lashes and the names. So I um, actually am going to start with the least dramatic to the most dramatic in my opinion. Um, I'm also gonna start with the ones that I tend to wear more. I tend to wear the um, less dramatic ones um, when I'm going out or when we have a date night or whatever. Something that um, is easy and pretty and kind of natural because we all have our extra days and we all have our um, subtle extra days, right? So I'm gonna start this video with Amber. I am wearing her right now. Amber is one of my favorites. I tend to lean towards um, three of them and I will show you which ones they are. But Amber's one of my favorites. I throw her in my bag. I wear her real easy. In my Jonas Brothers vlog, which you will see very soon, I actually went to New York with my friend Fabio and Catherine and Julie and um, Fabio is an English teacher. So he went to a bookstore and while I was sitting in the bookstore um, watching some of the stuff, I just threw on my lashes, like in a bookstore with this little compact, with the liner, like it was so easy. And um, I, they stayed on all night. And you know what's funny? I was actually sweating throughout that concert, like sweating so much, it was like on my, on my um, eyelids, which I've never had, I've never sweat to my eyelids, but it was wet and they stayed on. They were awesome. So these are Amber. Okay guys, next is Ashley. I think these are so gorgeous. They are very wispy and um, very, I don't know how to explain it. They're very Hollywood. They're very Instagram celebrity. They are very just fabulous. I just, that's what I like about them, but they're wearable fabulous. This is something I can wear to maybe a wedding and um, not be concerned that I'm gonna look a little crazy and like I tried too hard, you know? So this is Ashley. I think she's gorgeous. And um, again, she came in this, this uh, compact case, same kind. Um, and yeah. The next girl we are gonna put on is Jasmine. 
and she comes in this silver one. I'm not sure if the cases are random. There's only two. There's the pink one and the silver one. So I'm not sure if the cases are random or if they come with them, but my Jasmine came in the silver. I'm gonna put them on on camera because I wanna show you how easy they are to put on. This video is going so quickly because the lashes take like seconds to put on. Um, so I'm gonna show you that real quick with Jasmine. Here we are. Here are my lashes. Here's my eye and She's on. She's on. These are super long. Jasmine is very, 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 very long. I feel like someone with a bigger set of eyes might look better in them than I do. I feel like my eyes aren't that big. But again, we're just gonna pop them on. And she's done. I still think these are prettier. Um, still think these are super pretty. They're very, very long. Um, if it makes you more comfortable, you could probably trim them, but I I like them the way they are. They're just very long, um, very dramatic, but they are one of the thinner lashes, so that's why I put them sooner, because they're a little bit more wearable. Um, but these are, these are uh, Jasmine. So these are Tasha. They come in the silver case and I think they're gorgeous. They're probably in one of my top three. Um, if I had to pick them, I love Amber, Ashley, Tasha. Those are the ones I reach for the most or I have been reaching for the most since I got them. Um, I think they are full and beautiful. They work really well with my eyes because they're not super long, um, but they are super thick. So when I want something a little dramatic or something to make me feel really pretty, um, these are a really good option. So these are Tasha. I noticed myself getting progressively closer to the camera, so I'm just backing up a little bit, but the ones I'm wearing right now are Kiki. They seem to be the most popular online. So these were one of the ones I was looking at the most, but I found myself not wearing them as much um, because I'm a little extra. So the other ones have a little bit of flair or a little bit of thickness or a little bit of length. These are probably the most natural. They're not wispies, they're not flares. They are made the same way your normal lashes would kind of grow. So if you are looking for something natural, these I don't think anyone would even notice you're wearing. I think it would just give you that little extra oomph that you're looking for and to make you feel super pretty. So these are Kiki. Uh, mine also came in the silver case. I don't know if that matters to you, but um, those are what mine came in. These are Katie. They came in the silver case. I don't know why I haven't worn these more. I really like them. I like the way they look on my face. I think they are um, pretty natural. They don't look crazy, but they do look very, very glam. I think they look really great with this makeup, by the way. Hello, how are you in the viewfinder? But yes, these are Katie. Um, I need to start wearing these more. I have a wedding next weekend, and I think I'm gonna pick these because these are really, really, really pretty. But these are Katie. So our last three are gonna be our thick queens. First up, we have Rosa. Um, she was one of the ones I was looking at. I don't remember why. I don't remember if it was because people were talking about it the most, if it had the most reviews. I don't remember why, but I do remember that Rosa was on my radar and um, I was really looking forward to getting her. She came in the pink case and I really dig this. I'm not a thick lashes girl because I feel like sometimes I look a little crazy with them. I don't really know why, but these look so good. They're a little bit wispy, and I think um, all these next three lashes would look super, super good with thick liner, like really thick liner, which is why I did mine a little bit thicker today. But um, <laughs> let's be real, my eyeliner's always thick, and I'm always the raccoon queen. So these are uh, Rosa. I think they're beautiful, and I might... I might switch out Katie for Rosa for the wedding next week because these are beautiful. I am a little smitten, but yeah, these are Rosa. So these are Christy. She's another thick queen. So thick. I appreciate how neat they are. Um, these are very long, which like I said for Jasmine, long lashes are um, not exactly my thing. I like something a little bit more natural, but I think this would be really, really pretty for 
like a doll costume or um, something that should have perfect lashes. Like I would probably use these for Halloween. I probably wouldn't wear these um, to like any occasion. Not because they're not pretty, just because I think they take up like half of my face. I think they're gorgeous, I really do. Um, but I would really need an event for this. I would probably, if I was going out, like if I was going to a club or something, I could wear these, but these are a little much for me. Um, I still think they're so gorgeous. They're so pretty. In the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, how are you? They're just so extra that I'm like not sure where I could wear them, but they are really pretty. I do feel them though. They're so big and curly. They're kind of like tickling, like right under my eyebrows. Oh my God, there's little Brandy. How are you? Hi. Oh my God. These might be for Insta. I take that back. I would wear these for Insta because they are so pretty. They're so gorgeous. So yeah, these are Christy. So I might have lied because um, Dolly looks like she is the thickest on this. This looks very similar to Kiki. I'm not sure if there's the same lashes, but these are my Dolly. Um, I think she is pretty natural from what I'm seeing. I also, I'm not sure. No, these are different than Kiki when they're on. So Dolly is not as thick as she looks in the picture. Um, she is really natural. I think I could probably wear this out, but I haven't really touched them because I thought they were thicker. But these are really, really pretty. Um, you could probably wear them to work anywhere. These are really nice. So this is Dolly. I'm actually gonna leave Dolly on to finish up the video. And we have one more product to talk about. That is the Egg Bee Magnetic Liner. It is, uh, it comes in this plastic packaging can't really complain it's not that expensive so what do you want like Kylie glass like it's it's fine it's what it does so um, this liner um, can probably I could see it getting uncomfortable if you layer it too thick but you really don't need that much to get your lashes to stick like one thin line is fine I actually do my liner with a different liner and then go over it once with the magnetic liner to make it look good. This liner was not achieved with this and I don't think it's really possible to do it with this. One of the complaints I do have about this eyeliner, the only real complaint I have about it is the brush. It's not super firm, so sometimes there are um, one or two strands of hair that kind of stick out and um, can make applying the eyeliner a little bit difficult, but it's not a big deal, especially for the price point um, and especially if you're putting over another liner like I do. Um, so this one works for me. I love it. Uh, I didn't spend a billion dollars on it. I don't remember how much it was, but I will link all the products down below. Do I think you should get this? Hmm. Let's see. Each lash comes with about 10 anchors that are super duper duper small. So it could be very easy to lose them. If you have difficulty using the anchors, which I know a lot of people do, I don't. I'm just lazy. This is so easy. I have not tried it yet, to be honest, just because this magnetic liner is so easy. It makes my life so easy. All I have to do is just put it on right on top of my liner and then I could just switch out the lashes. Like to do this video, it took me maybe an hour just because I'm a mess and I'm a perfectionist. I'm going back and rewatching everything. But to actually switch out the lashes takes seconds. The magnetic liner is so easy. Um, there was another YouTuber, I'll link her down below. She also reviewed these products. Um, she mentioned the way that she puts it on is she puts on the lashes and then uses the anchor to secure the ends. Um, I love that way of doing it. I do the magnetic liner and then if I need to, I'll put it in the corner. Right now I'm not wearing them and you can't even tell. Um, that they're literally just sticking on by my eyeliner. Final thoughts, I love these products. I think they are beautiful. I love having all of them because I can just pick out whichever ones I want. My sisters actually come in and will ask to borrow them because they're so pretty and they're so easy to carry. You can buy these on Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below, um, but they're so cheap in comparison to other lashes that you might get of the same quality. Um, or even worse quality, to be honest. My Ardell's cost me $13 sometimes, sometimes $14. Um, and these are about the same price. And they come with a compact, a beautiful compact. My Ardell ones come in this like plastic container that you can't, uh, that don't magnetize the lashes. And 
Um, I, although I loved my Ardell lashes, the container was just like so annoying to keep my lashes in. And that's how I came across these. I was looking for a container for my magnetic lashes and I came across these and I am glad I did. The liner I think is a must. The lashes themselves come with anchors, which are, you know, okay to apply if, if you know how to do it, but a lot of people have difficulty. This magnetic liner takes all of that away. You just put it on and then it's so easy to throw them on. It's reliable. I've worn these in the rain. I've worn them out to dinner. I've worn them everywhere and they stay on and I don't even need, you know, glue or anchors or anything. This liner, I love it. Again, the only concern about the liner is the brush, uh, but that's not a big deal. For the price point, like, give me this brush, give me a sponge, I don't care. This is amazing. I love both of them together. I would definitely get the liner with the lashes, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. It just makes your life so much easier. Thank you, Eggby Cosmetics, for working with me and allowing me to uh, review your products. I love them, they're amazing. I'm not just saying that, I promise, uh, because again, I did have my little critiques, but um, love them. I would definitely repurchase. If you come up with any more styles, let me know because I definitely will buy them. I think they're amazing. Um, and thank you for being so patient because honestly, I told myself I wasn't going to upload another video until I got this one done. Um, I did film it before, uh, and I might add some footage from that in there as well. So I lost the first anchor. <laughs> this is starting out great. So Katie is super pretty. So if you see me change scenery, that's why, because I did film this before, but I wasn't happy with it, the way it came out or the quality, so I wound up getting some different lighting. If you like this setup, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I've had a couple life changes also. I got another degree. I adopted two pets that I've been putting all my time into, and life has just been uh, cool. It's been cool. So, um... That is why you haven't seen me as much, but I'm going to get back to uploading regularly. Uh, let me know which style you liked the most. If you liked videos like this, like drop a comment. Let me know. Drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe, you know. It's a shameless self-plug. This was my review of Eggby Cosmetics line of magnetic lashes and liner. As you can tell, I love them. They're amazing. You should buy them. I'm linking them down below. Um, and I can't wait to see you again. So, uh, bye guys.